Good afternoon, people, and welcome to part. Uh, what are we on? Part eight of uh, Jones who plays L.A. Noir. Uh, we have just arrested William Shatner for, uh, well, supposedly killing uh, our good friend Mr. Patterson. When actually we already know that it was his wife and the other guy that had already stabbed him. So that was quite a pointless thing to do. So we are going to go over there and uh, arrest some people. And to be honest, I will probably run over and kill some more people in the process whilst I'm getting there. Right, where are we going? Don't know where I'm going, got nowhere in that. Oh, bugger off, I don't care. Mental case. Oh, mental case. Oh, go on, I'll do that one then. If it's the one I think it is. I think he has like a thing on his head, a colander or something. I think I did learn of a way of doing it without him having to die, but I can't remember how to do it. Stop swerving. Um, I'm hopping too far away. I probably should have got into drive. I'll just get into drive for the next one. As you can see, oh shit! <laughs> As you can see, the driving really isn't my strongest point. But I just blame the lag. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Seriously, if you were going round in real life and you saw police officers driving like this, it wouldn't fill you with much hope if you needed them to come and save your life. Oh god, I've killed her. Him. No, I didn't. It's okay. That's it. Run. Run away. Save yourself. I don't blame you. <laughs> Keep LA safe, drive safely. Oh, <laughs> oh, how fitting. Yeah, I'm getting there. It's a mental flower. Let's go run some traffic lights over. Yes, it is him. Oh, yay. It just... Oh... Oh, that's that's not nice. I'll show you. Yes, sir. You're not going to control my thoughts anymore. Calm down, sir. You like that? Oh, I'd love it. Yeah, I'd absolutely love it. Oh, that's some. <laughs> oh, loving the sock and shoe thing. Oh yeah, I think if I run round this way. I could have got this really wrong. And I have. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I get to do this, don't I? And I don't actually get to kill him. I don't always like killing people. I've not your colander off. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, okay. oh you, you lost my hat, you're having it now. Boop. Oh. He doesn't look too happy about that. As long as I get my hat back, I don't care. As long as he, he just killed someone because he knew comic rays were coming into his bedroom or something. What are you doing? <laughs> you want to come along too? Right, so that's him side. Right, okay, so get Bukowski to drive us back to Lana and... Is it Leroy? Lana and Leroy. You know the way. You can drive. Good job he does know the way. Darkness. Darkness will fall. How many times has that been said on like trailers for films? This summer darkness will fall. Might not have happened on any of them. I might just be talking bullshit as usual. Knock knock knock. We know what you did. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it all comes out now. He's in the bedroom. 
You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning. Yeah, I bet. How to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. Banks is covered, baby. Nothing to do you with think it. I'm going to fry for you, He's a Lorna? crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him for God's sake. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, well. Who cares? You're gonna die. Pretty sure I just shot him. Yep, I'm sorry, I'm not messing around with him. He was an absolute gobshite. I think if you let him run for a bit, then he just takes a hostage. I could have held the thing long enough. But I don't care. You look spooked, Phelps. I thought you'd been under fire before. Never gets any easier. It never gets any easier killing people. Nope. Especially if you're running them over constantly in a police car. Oh dear. I don't think I'm going to get a very good rating for this. Did it all in the wrong order. Killed quite a few people. Caused tons of damage. If I were you, I had the eggs, bacon. Conspiracy and yep, well that's what you get with me. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take I am simply the best. Give me another promotion. I've got to let you know that Bukowski, if this were just down to Bukowski, then you wouldn't have had all this. He was happy just to ignore the knife. He's dragging me down. He's dragging me down. Okay, oh, gee. oh no, that's a lot of vehicle damage. Another visit to Ray's and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Another visit to Ray's. Well how did I know I had to go there? It wasn't exactly on my... So I only got three out of a possible five stars. Mm. Fair enough, well he's dead, it doesn't really matter does it? Would you like to skip the next case download? Oh, it's a downloaded case. Ah. Uh, well, might as well go through it all. It all, it all links in. Uh, hang on, how, how long? Oh, this will be going a while. Right, let's... Uh, would you like to skip the case? Next? No, okay, let's do it. Let's do this one. I can't remember what it was. As per usual. Come on, darkness. I think the downloaded cases take a bit longer to load up. Slip of the tongue. Mm. I don't think I can actually remember this one. Well, Mikowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on! Sorry to inconvenience. Yeah, you well, you are. Me and Bukowski were, were just chatting and, and having a nice bacon sandwich and, and talking about the game last night. And you no, know, we really were. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, he's not really a romantic type. More of that later. Um, come on, Bukowski. What? Why are all my partners so bloody slow? Get out of my fucking way. That I mean business today. Come on. Not stopping for anyone. You're calling her the dog. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What are you on about? You hear whether they're making any progress? Captain Donnelly seems to think they Some have of the conversations you have at the start, unless I've missed something, I have no idea what they're talking about. 
terrible enough to be murdered like that without having a jet strewn all over the front of you. Well, when you're dead, it doesn't really matter. Probably the least of your worries. Oh, fuck off. Um. No, the. Oh. Well, that's spoil it. Oh, it's another couch, yes. Who am I going to kill this time? Remember, we need them healthy enough to answer questions. Okay, so just bumping from the back. 1247, Detective Phelps, requesting immediate back. No head on collision. Stolen green Kaiser oh. Fraser, 6 West 2nd Street. Oops. It was slowing down for me. That's handy. Okay, so no horses head in the boot, so we know he's not that dangerous. Oh, okay, just try and pump another car. Horny little devil. Okay, well now that is erratic driving. Take this guy out. Oh, shoot his tires out or something. On. Oh, turn the speed there. Oh, nice. Whoops. Well, that was like a citizen, that was my own. Get bracelets on you, fellas. I'll call it in. Out of the car now. Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Oh, we weren't really bearing down on you. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. Hmm. Like your sweater vest. But God, you look like 12 years old, and you look very shady. Don't we always have questions? £2,450 for a brand new car. Oh, God. Mind you, it's not exactly the prettiest, is it? You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Oh. 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 I don't. It seems pretty sharp, but it looks. Can I use any intuition on this one? Oh well. The truth. And the ownership papers. Are from the same place. Intuition points are quite useful, really, are you? Depend on how you do on cases, you get more if you've used them up in the last one. And they are useful. Uh, right, okay, yes, that that's a piece of paper. What is your motive for flight? Are you a bird? You're not a bird. Uh... Come on, Cliff. We're gonna make this hard. Do you have wings? I didn't steal the car. I ran because because I've got some wacky back. Oh, oh, that's all right. One reefer. We'll let it slide. You're in enough trouble. Ah, oh, well done, Cole. Well done. He just likes to get a little high. What's the harm in that? The owner, Richard Coombs. I'm in <laughs> no way endorsing people going out and doing drugs. I've just realised what I've said. <laughs> it was just a joke. But there's nothing wrong with it, really. Uh, oh, God, what did he say? Oh, uh, truth. He made out the bill of sale personally. Okay, that was a guess. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. Oh. Well, it all seems pretty pointless. I think I remember doing this one. It's quite... You've got to be kidding me. It's not the most interesting uh, case car. that you do. If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. I think I might keep this one quite sharp. Right, detective. You know who my father is. Right, we'll go to the next destination, which we don't know where it is. We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harry's oh, yeah. story. 
what? I think he's telling the truth. Some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars. Usually they're <laughs> what? <laughs> Just look at Jimmy Savile. There, me. Honestly, the, this amount that this Jimmy Savile thing is going on is just absolutely crazy. Every day there's something new. We just said the world's gone crazy. I mean, one of our most beloved children's entertainers, TV presenters, and they turned out to be one of the worst paedophiles we've ever seen. Crazy times, people. Crazy times. I'm not sure that's communism. Oh God, please! Not another history. There's nothing wrong with history. It's oh, sorry. Oh God, what? <laughs> really sorry. Did I get rid of both wheels and I just... Oh, I'm oh. Yes, I feel much better. I'm. I can't move. I can't. I'm. I'm dead. Oh. Why can't I get out of that? Oh well. Uh, police car. Any about? If not, who is it? What, are you, what? What have you got? Have you got a hot dog? I want a hot dog. Hot dog. I've never actually tried. Can you actually buy a hot dog? I want a hot dog. Give me a hot dog now. And the police. It's part of the contract. Give me a hot dog. Okay, I'll, I'll push you over. Ideas? We need to get to Coombs Auto and check out Harrison's story. Okay, it's not going to work with him. Right, okay, yeah, I need to find the car. That's police car. Police. Hello, 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 hello. Stop, 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 stop. Police. Come on, guys. I shouldn't have to point it out to you. Emergency officer, I need your vehicle. Thank you, Clive. I'll call you Clive. Thank you. And Clive and Clive and Patsy. What a duo that would be. Oh, am I going the wrong way already? Clive and Patsy do crime. No, that won't work out. Mind you, I'm sure it make better TV than fucking Towie and Charlie Shaw and all that shite. Oh, honestly, don't get me started on that or else I will just blabber on for about half an hour. TV ain't what it used to be. Sound like a grumpy old man and I'm only 22 years old, guys. Right. Let's go fly a kite. Oh, this guy seems so dodgy. Typical car dealer. Okay, I think we'll. Oh. No, do we look like we've come here to buy a car? Honestly, no. Right, pause it there, guys. And we'll leave it there for part 8. Thank you very much for watching as always. Um, please keep leaving comments and telling me different things you want me to do. How I can make it better. Um, and I will see you back here tomorrow for part 9 of Jonesy Plays L.A. Noir. Thank you very much guys.